And then the Smash logo comes out on it. I'm like, oh my god. It's King K. Rule! Animal Crossing! Oh my god! Yes! What? Oh my god, this is so cool. World of Light. Joker steals the show. Oh my god. Banjo! Kazooie! Yeah! <laughs> the character I wanted! You, I wanted him so bad! Yeah! Chopped. Uh, who is this? Sephiroth? Sephiroth. Is it actually Sephiroth? Sephiroth, really? Oh my god, it's Sephiroth! I got an invitation to join the chat! Look at her! That is awesome! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Thank you, Sakurai. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is three years old. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy to think that it's been that long. Um, and I know it sounds kind of silly or even corny to be celebrating a, a video game birthday, but I mean, Sakurai does it every the Sakurai does it every other week, so you know, go big or go home, I guess. Uh, this video is just kind of me reflecting on the past three years that I've had with this game. Not only the hype of when this game came out, but the hype that came before it and the hype that came after it with all the DLC and whatnot. So, I guess an appropriate way to start would be, um, I guess back when the first trailer was revealed. Um, wow. You know, I don't, I would, I feel like a dunce, but I, in that moment, I didn't, I didn't even know it was the Smash Bros. trailer until I saw the Smash logo, and then I was like, oh my god. And then we got the, oh my god, the E3 Direct with, you know, feeling that every single character was going to come back. And then we had the directs after that. And then, uh, probably my favorite memory with this game, which isn't really with this game. It's really, um, for when, uh, the trailer for Isabel first came out. It was disguised as a, uh, Animal Crossing game. And I got really, really excited thinking it was a new Animal Crossing. But then after it went on, I realized it was it was a Smash invitation basically, um, and I, I basically got it's it's still on YouTube by the way. Um, it's it's my favorite reaction. <clears throat> Excuse me. And by the way, this is completely unscripted. I'm I'm gonna try to do this in one take, but you know, shit happens. So, but yeah, it was disguised as an Animal Crossing trailer. I pieced the pieces together and I realized it was a Smash trailer, and I basically became kind of depressed until the end where an actual Animal Crossing game was revealed. Um, and that was, that was crazy. And I remember during the, the, the lead up to release, um, until like, I want to say September. Yeah. Cause September is my birthday. Um, I was still trying to save up for a switch cause I didn't have one. And I was trying to get one in preparation for Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I remember I, I only had like, I think, 180 something and I needed 300 by a switch and it was my birthday so my parents were like you know we'll take care of the rest of it and that was I, I mean I got the game I, I got I got sorry I got the console sorry and uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and then later Splatoon 2 and then September 7th December 7th my apologies <laughs> boy I remember that day I had school that day, so I had to wait till after school, and those were some painful hours, I tell you, because I was right waiting for my friend to pick me up to go to GameStop to pick up the game, because I had uh, reserved a pre-order for it, uh, and uh, he had uh, he had to get out of school, because he, he got out an hour later than I did, because I was still in middle school, and he was in high school, so I had to wait for an hour and then he said no wait I gotta go home and grab my stuff and I had to wait even longer and then we finally he finally got there blasting the Super Smash Bros. Brawl intro theme and we drove all the way up to GameStop and I finally had the game in my hands and uh the car ride home was probably you know I must have looked at this uh this insert like 50 times you know picked up the cartridge probably smelled it a few times that's crazy if that sounds but yeah I had uh, a few of my friends over and that weekend, we played the shit out of Smash Bros. Ultimate. 
with uh, co-op battles and um, world, playing through World of Light. And I remember uh, we had one of our friends who was, he, he, he liked Smash Bros, but he, well, he wasn't as into it as us. Um, but he fell asleep, and, you know, me and my friend, we, we pulled an all-nighter, basically. And he woke up in the middle of it, and we were on the boss with Galeem, and neither of us could beat it for the life of us, because we were still kind of getting used to the controls. But then our friend woke up, and he was like, here, let me try. He beat it first try, and we were so amazed. And that was that's always a fun memory I'm going to have with this. Um, and then after that, it's, I guess, DLC, so... Uh, the day, the day, like, before the game was announced, it was revealed that Joker was going to be in Smash. And I had no idea who he was. So, uh, I think I, I might still have a reaction on my phone somewhere. But I, I was just so confused on who he was. But, um, I want to say, I, I, I kind of recognized him from the Sonic Forces me, uh, uh, not me costume, the Avatar costume. <laughs> which is a little cringe, thinking back on it. But, um, I, I did more research into it, and I looked up, uh... A playthrough of it and I, I, I became obsessed with the game and I became obsessed with Joker and Smash Bros and then what was it Hero I didn't really care for Hero and I, I would also like to say I, I I was like a few years ago one of those fans who would complain about too many Fire Emblem characters or how my character wasn't in the game and all that jazz I, I hate it I regret it but it's kind of fun to look back on because I, I eventually became you know more what what's the word? But I I became, I became less kind of cryptic of the, that sort of stuff, and I kind of realized, you know what, Sakurai can put who he wants in the game. I'm gonna play the shit out of them anyway. Uh, so yeah, I I didn't really care. I mean, Hero was fun. I I actually kind of really like playing as Hero. He's hard, but once you get him down, then he's pretty fun. And then oh, Banjo Kazooie. He was the probably my most wanted character, as as I'm pretty sure a lot of other uh, people were wanting. Um, pro probably up there, he was, he was up there with Sora, actually, if I can recall correctly. Um, but yeah, I was really hyped for Banjo, and then there was Terry, Byleth, Min Min, Steve, which came completely out of left field, and then Sephiroth. Sephiroth was probably the most left field character out there, um, because no one expected a second finally Final Fantasy rep at all, so that was crazy, and then the trailer was perfect as well, like, you know, it's every, everybody who knew recognized the first two notes. I, I kind of was like, if it, if, like, if people recognize the, the, the dun, 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 I'm like, but if it plays the dun, 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 then it's Sephiroth, and then it played, and I knew. And then Pyro and Mithra, those were probably the last characters I really, really wanted before the game uh, ran out of DLC slots. And then there was Kazuya, and then Sora, and I wasn't really hoping for Sora, but I'm happy that he got in because a lot of people really wanted him. But the way the trailer was done was awesome because the, the final trailer starts how the, fir the first trailer started. And that was a perfect note to end the game on. And yeah, I've been playing the shit out of this. I have over a thousand hours in it and I've, I've dedicated a lot of time in this game. Um, I'm no game is perfect, but this game, this game is really up there for me. Um, I'm tempted to say that it might be my favorite game of all time, because you know I've, I've no other game on my Switch counts uh, the amount of time I've sink, sunk into this. I don't think any. I'm looking at my shelf. I can't really see another game that I sunk like over a thousand. I mean, that's kind of saying a lot for me, but. I can't see another game that I sunk that amount of time to. Maybe <laughs> even that's it. I was about to say Sonic Three and Knuckles, but even that's a stretch. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm not sure if I. Oh yeah, the Amiibo. <laughs> I'm standing. I'm standing right behind them. But um, yeah, I remember. Uh, before uh, I got started collecting Amiibo, because, you know, the Smash line's pretty cool. I mean, it's fun seeing all the wind up. I've created my own little display. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I remember I was Toys R Us was closing down, and I saw a Palutena Amiibo, and I'm like, oh, it's only two bucks. I'll pick it up. Um, I mean, I, mean I'll, I might resell it for a couple bucks, but then I ended, I ended up keeping it, and then I got... I'm like, 
and then I got Rosalina, and then I got Lucario, and then I got Wolf, and I'm like, you know what, these things are pretty cool, and then I found a few at five below, and then the rest, as you can see, it's, uh, it's lining up. Uh, there's still, I'm not as into it as I was, like, a couple months ago, but, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my collection as is. I might do a video on it once the final Amiibo come out, but, um, I'm trying to think. If there's any other stories I have, um, feel free to uh, leave your stories behind because I sure as hell have sunk a lot of time into this, and I owe a lot to this game. Um, as as weird as that sounds, I know, I know at the end of the day, it's it's just a game, but I mean, this game it holds a very special place in my heart. I'm sorry that this video has become you know more like it's, it's a lot of me stuttering over my own words, but uh. What can you do? I, I feel like doing a video like this kind of really, it's its a personal thing, you know? I'm trying to think if there's anything else. All right, well, I think that's gonna call it for this video. So uh, my last words are thank you to Monster Hero Sakurai. And I i, I know that's, that's a cliche thing to say. I but, I mean, I swear, people act like Monster Hero Sakurai did everything for this game. And he, I mean, he is the director. That's not to be undermined. But there are a lot of people who worked on this game. You know, that includes, you know, music designers, like, art directors, all that jazz. All, like, have you ever uh, looked at the end of classic mode? There's a, there's a this list of people that's called credits. Um, that's everybody else who worked on the game. So thank you to everybody who made this game possible. Um, thank you to this game. Thank you, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate.